A woman climbed a flagpole in North Carolina to take down the Confederate flag. Of course, there was a lot of controversy regarding the Confederate flag after a man by the name of Dylan Roof shot and killed nine innocent black people during a Bible studies class. Now, Bree Newsom was tired of seeing the Confederate flag. She is an activist, and she thought it was absolutely ridiculous that authorities in her area were going to decide whether or not they would take down the Confederate flag sometime in July. And she's like, you know what? No, I'm going to take it down now. So she climbed that flagpole, took it down, and she got arrested as a result of that. Now, she uh, was arrested with her counterpart, James Tyson, and she was charged with defacing monuments on state capitol grounds. She, uh, ha after she's been charged, uh, she has been fined or could be fined up to $5,000, and she faces three years in jail. Let's stop right there for a second. Three years in jail for taking down a flag. Jail is supposed to be for people who are a threat to society. I don't really know or think that Bree Newsom is a threat to society. But nonetheless, uh, there is a crowdfunding page that has raised upwards of $120,000 to help her pay for her bail. The South Carolina legislature is set to vote on taking down the Confederate flag, but that won't happen until uh, later in July. Now, the flag was raised in the state house back in 1962 when it was put up as a symbol of resistance to racial integration so that flag is about racism everyone knows it everyone will have a ridiculous argument or debate about it but the reality is it has to do with race it has to do with racism it has to do with disenfranchising an entire group of people in this country i want to know what you guys think brett make your point she's definitely not a threat to society she might be a threat to flags but not to society. Mm -hmm. I don't think we need to put her in jail, but I, w I totally agree with taking the flag down. When I hear her get up on the top of the flagpole and say, I'm doing this for G in the Jesus' name, that's where I'm like, oh God, you're trying to talk about separation of, of racism from the state house, yeah. but then you're invoking like religion to do so. Why don't you just go up and take the flag down? Right, let's, let's take a look at the video of her um, as B-roll. Let's put the audio down while um, Hannah makes her point. Yeah, so I think, the biggest offense here is that such a sign of hatred and bigotry is considered a monument. Mm -hmm. That's what bothers me the most about this entire thing. I think she's a hero. I think uh, if we kind of look at history, people who have set history on the right path have always ruffled feathers. Think about Rosa Parks, like she was arrested, but she did something that then made a change later. So I think Brie Newsom is gonna be that in the future when we're looking at her in the history books. Exactly, political protests aren't supposed to be convenient. They're not supposed to be easy. You don't get any real change by following the law and not stirring the pot. So I'm really proud of what she did and I think that it sends a really strong message. Now here's the personal question for the story. What's one cause that you would risk getting arrested for, Brett? Uh, robbery. Okay. I believe in it staunchly, and uh, <laughs> if I have to get arrested so I can get cool stuff, so be it. Uh, fair enough. All right. I don't know if that's really a political issue. I but... really don't think I have any. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing? So you wouldn't be arrested for it? You wouldn't be willing to get arrested I for just it. think a lot of people, when they like, I'm going to go get arrested for this. Yeah. Like with this one, it was like, we're going to we're gonna vote on it on the 6th. Like. Why? It's just I want to get this last little flag climb in there before they, you know, it might come down anyway. I think every if, it's but like. But if there was somebody who is so hateful about your group of people or any group of people really in the United States, wouldn't you want to remove that sign of right? That but hate like as soon as to possible? get it to, I mean, it's it's a little thing to try to do this. I mean, the the news story is already out there. When people talk about last week in news, they say that like South Carolina is going to vote to take the flag off the state house. She's just trying to get her name in there, I think. You know what, I have no problem with that. If there's some element of publicity in this story, I don't have an issue with it because the cause is a real cause. It's a real political issue. Don't doubt it. So when I think about the issue, mm -hmm. I'm all for it. When I think about the messenger, which does not affect my opinion on the issue, and I say I focus way more on the issue, but if everyone's gonna laud this woman for like doing this thing, it's like, eh, they already said they were gonna do something about it. But it's not guaranteed that they're gonna take the flag down. But nonetheless, I want Hannah to answer the, the question, is there a political cause that you would risk getting arrested for? I think there's a lot of things that I would risk getting arrested for. I think any sort of fighting for equal treatment or fighting against bigotry is worth you know, putting handcuffs on my hand. I think that that's something that we need to fight for in our country and I would be willing to take that risk for yeah. sure. I mean, I agree with you. There are a number of causes, but I think the cause that I feel strongly about is our justice system. 
So I would ironically risk getting arrested by protesting for-profit prisons because for-profit prisons have totally destroyed our justice system. Mm -hmm. But I want to know whether or not you guys would risk getting arrested for a political cause. Maybe you're part of Wolfpack here at TYT Network. You want to get money out of politics. Would you risk getting arrested for that or anything else? Comment in the section below. We love hearing from you guys, and we'll see you soon.